And if we are going to adopt the, the crappy lie down attitude, which is expected of us, in other words, not say anything, not to do anything, you have this horrible patronizing patter. Uh, well, of course, the protesters are entitled to protest, but as long as they keep out of everybody's way and are entirely ineffective, then they can protest the way to their heart's content. When protest becomes effective, that's when we join a different club where nasties and thugs and uh, lulas and whatever, but we know we're not. There's other shell for that matter. There's vast support out there, but people don't want to get involved. You see, they have this thing in their mind, going back to the landlord days, that, oh, well, you can't, don't rock the boat. you can't stand up and be conscious of the mm. danger that something will affect you down the road. That's what's affecting a lot of the people here, who would love to support the thing, but they're afraid, well, we'll be harassed by some department or other, you see. The fact that the Irish gas does not belong to Ireland anymore is of major concern to most people, and that basically our tax euros will be paying for every bit of work you see here now because the, the, the deal done with the oil companies is that if they find something they can keep it they'll sell it back to us if they choose and uh, they can write off all the development costs against the tax so whoever ends up buying car gas pays for this work, pays for the destruction of the SAC here pays for the private security that have been videoing us uh, for quite some time, uh, pays for the jailing of the Rossport Five. What's going on here is um, Shell, Statoil and Martin are trying to build a high pressure raw gas pipeline and they're in an inland refinery. It's different from most projects in that they want to put the refinery on land um, instead of out at sea where it usually is and to do that they have to build or they have to lay a, a high pressure raw gas pipeline um, the, just behind me here is the landfall site at, at Gangad and that's where the pipe will come in and go across to Rossport, um, really close to people's houses, close to a road and then to the refinery site in Ballinaboy. Essentially the Shell to Sea argument is a winning argument and the state will not engage with debate in debate with us because they know we have a winning argument and instead they have resorted to the use of force to force this project through. Well, please wake up and see what's happened to the to the natural resources and demand that it be given back to the people or, the, or some of the benefits be given back to the people and bring this gas in ashore, bring it in, but bring it in safe and bring it in well and bring it in with the consent of the people and with proper planning and proper safety procedures attached to it. Another one of our goals is to revisit the current licensing and fiscal terms that apply to the oil companies, terms that have applied since the late 80s and early 90s, in a deal done by Bertie Ahern and Ray Burke, who was Ministry for, Minister for Energy at the time. Ray Burke is a man who was since convicted and sent to prison for corruption. And it was him and his kind who made the deals with the oil companies and invited them in and said, you may have all our oil and gas resources and you may sell it back to us at the full market rate. So essentially the oil and gas companies own our natural resources and we own nothing. generally a 50-50 split, a deal. In Ireland it's 100 to 0. Uh, we call it the Great Gas Giveaway. It's, uh, it's treason essentially. And our goal in the campaign is to revisit those terms and reclaim those resources for the benefit of the Irish people.
not just people involved in the campaign, but in terms of general media have exposed inherent corruption um, within um, the 26th county government. Um, certainly around politicisation of um, both young and old, and that's one of the most interesting things when you come down to this community, that it's not just uh, the onslaught of groups of young people or outsiders, it's politicised a number of people who probably have raised kids and thought that they had reached the stage of life where they could kind of live their lives. My family were born and reared here, and when they come home, they are so upset to see that. They are so upset, and I am not just saying that they really are. And then more upset again when you see your neighbour and your good friend, as you thought, on, on the other side. You know, agreeing with Shell, like, what? Shell is fine. You know, what are they doing to us? When they are out to kill us. Basically, it's like inviting a rapist into your house and then getting really surprised when you get raped. We extremely uh, rare to have an incident in, in a modern uh, gas plant like this one. Everything around us is our heritage.